Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Katie. When I was a kid, and even now as an adult, I love reading mystery stories. How about the two of you? Well, Martin, you really like them, huh? Okay, well, my favorites were things like Sherlock Holmes or the Hardy Boy Mysteries. My sister, she was a big Nancy Drew fan. And she enjoyed reading those stories. Now I guess today people would prefer some of the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen books, like The Case of the Cheerleading Camp Mystery, or The Case of the Weird Science Mystery. Today we're going to examine one of the most challenging mysteries in all of history, The Case of the Empty Tomb. The story begins very early on the first morning of the week. And there were some women who had been followers of Jesus. A few days earlier, they watched him die. But because he died late on a Friday afternoon, they were unable to perform the rituals normally prescribed for the Jewish faith when a person dies. Because Friday night is the beginning of their Sabbath day. So Jesus was placed in a nearby tomb, and the ladies went home. But then on Saturday evening, after the Sabbath was over, they went to the market and they purchased the ointments and the spices that they would need. But wouldn't you know, it was getting late at night. It was getting dark. So they had to go home again and wait through a very long night. And then early the next morning, they got up and went on out to the cemetery. But their concern was that there was this big, large stone in front of the tomb. How were they going to get it out of the way? Well, wonder of wonders and mystery of mysteries, they get to the tomb and the stone has already been moved. They go in expecting the worst. Perhaps someone has stolen Jesus' body. Or worse yet, perhaps the tomb has been tagged and Jesus' body has been desecrated. <laughs> Wouldn't you know they get inside and Jesus isn't even there. Instead they encounter some young man who tells them that Jesus is no longer in the grave because Jesus is no longer dead. He's been brought back to life. The women didn't understand and they were afraid. But later on they had the chance to encounter the risen Jesus and to talk with other people who had met Jesus after his resurrection. And they came to understand that the power of God is greater than even the power of death. And that part, and Katie, solves the case of the empty tomb. The tomb is empty because Jesus is not dead. He has risen, just as he said. He's risen indeed. Amen. Amen.